Alright guys, today I'll be reviewing Jolly Rancher Remix at Hershey Park. This is the Vacoma Boomerang here. It actually used to be Sidewinder, and it looked ugly, it was dumb, it was outdated, but they turned it into actually a decent ride that you might want to ride every couple visits here, and I'll explain what they did in this review. So, for starters, I gotta point one thing out, it's not a new credit. I know some people might count it as a new credit, and that's fine, but... At the same time, it's not fine because, I don't know, it's just not a new credit. It's the same layout, just with different theming. So, I don't know, if you count it, whatever. But anyways, the layout, this is a really dumb layout. It's a normal Vacoma boomerang. It's not extended or inverted or anything. It's just your normal. You go up the first spike, you drop down, pretty much get no air time, pass through the station, Hit the Cobra roll, really doesn't do a whole lot. You go through a vertical loop, the first pass doesn't do a whole lot. You go up the second spike, and the drop off it doesn't really do anything. You hit the vertical loop, which is actually really intense. Then you hit a okay Cobra roll coming backwards. Then you hit the brakes. So, yeah, it's a pretty lackluster layout. Nothing to shout out, especially because it's been cloned a ton. And yeah, that's why people didn't like Sidewinder, because, you know, Hershey's filled with amazing coasters, and having just a clone in there just kind of throws everything off, which is why they need to get rid of Wild Mouse, but yeah, anyways. Now I'm going to get into everything new about Jolly Rancher Remix. They changed so much, and I can't believe how much these little changes actually affected the ride, but they do, trust me. So now you're going to board over by Storm Runner. You used to board where Mixed is right now. That's the Zen Pearl of Nebula right there. And, I mean, these are fine rides. They're nothing special. I didn't do it because the one I did at Luna Park wasn't very good. But anyways, board by Storm Runner. It's basically just a cattle pen. Nothing really special about this queue except for the station. This is a nice station. You've got the Jolly Ranchers above flashing different colors. You've got, like, different music, and that's another thing. You hear the music from so far away. Like, you could be on Storm Runner. You got the, now get ready, here we go, and you'll just hear Watermelon or whatever. So this ride has tons of different flavors you can get. I got Watermelon, so I'll get to why that's important later besides, like, the soundtrack. But, yeah, I believe the soundtrack's pretty good for any of them. Like, I heard Strawberry Grape. So, like, yeah, they're pretty good. But, yeah, basically you just go through the normal boomerang layout with some music until you hit this fog tunnel. This fog tunnel's so cool. You smell the watermelon or strawberry, whatever it is. I smelled watermelon. And it smells good. Like, I thought this would just smell like crap Jolly Rancher. But, no, it smells amazing. It adds so much to the ride, especially on the backwards pass through through the vertical loop when it's actually intense like this is disorienting and i really like it you're just near graying out and then all of a sudden you smell watermelon like it's weird but it's a good weird for sure and another thing i want to know is the smoothness a lot of these boomerangs are pretty rough nowadays sidewinder was probably the smoothest boomerang as it was but it's about the same now they still have the vests from sidewinder they still have the same track work and everything, I believe. Like, it, it's the exact same in terms of smoothness. So, overall, Jolly Rancher Remix's final score is going to be 519 out of 1,000. So, it's just slightly above average for a roller coaster. I mean, it's a Vacoma Boomerang, so it's still not going to get a very high score. But that being said, it's probably the best Boomerang outside of speed of sound and the two with lap bars. So that's my review of Jolly Rancher Remix. Let me know what you guys think of this thing down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.